Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I had a vision right now and like a, a realization uh, has to do with what they call the VD energies right now. And these are the, uh, the victim aggressor um, syndrome of mental filters, thoughts uh, that have been occurring uh, that, are, that are roiling through the atmosphere right now. And uh, especially in the in the mid afternoons and on into the evenings, and uh, that are I've thought of as a clearing process. Um, so I had some insight into uh, into this this roiling and this clearing that might be of help to other people. Um, it, you know there are transpersonal chakras that that go from the seventh chakra at the top of the head, old style, from up here, away high up to the twelfth chakra, right? Um, right now. And then there are subpersonal chakras, transpersonal, subpersonal. So uh, there's an energy field that we're becoming more aware of that's beneath the first chakra and on down into, uh, let's say, as far as our feet. And uh, in that energy field, there's like right now, there's like um, a sphere of energy that is birthing a perfection of the chakras in that area of the soul field. And the mental overlay, the mental filter that is... Um, impinging on the awareness of people right now uh, with regard to the, the, the victim aggressor mental filter, the patriarchal domination mental filter and so forth. Um, uh, this is the result, the product of this process of perfecting or birthing these lower energies during the solstice of 2016. So um, it's, it's no exception to the rule that when energy work is taking place because of the incoming light, we need to just send back and be neutral to whatever it is that our, our higher minds are placing as a construct uh, of awareness on the actual process, which is much, much greater than the, the mental imagining. Okay. So, um, so keeping in mind that this is a birthing process and a process of perfecting our new uh, auric structure. Um, there are also things that we can do to prevent ourselves from taking actions that will actually damage our physical bodies. For instance, the notion of, of, of withdrawing blood from that area of the body uh, is not helpful right now. It's, um, it's a notion that, that in the 1800s was prevalent in the medical profession in, in uh, the United States. They called it leeching. They actually used leeches to withdraw uh, blood congestion from various areas of the body, and then they had in, they well, one time invented um, a um, a very cleverly conceived um, mechanical device uh, made of steel or yeah um, that made an incision a sharp incision uh, in the body and so blood flowed freely and they thought relieved congestion in that area. Uh, it's the notion that the area was healed and the congestion was released that actually did the healing and not, not the physical process. The physical process itself sometimes led to death or anemia. So, so I'm suggesting don't use that physical process. And in, no matter how, how upsetting or anxious the mental filter that's in place in, the, in that area may make you feel. Instead, try this. Try 
cold water, slightly colder than body temperature, fill up a bucket with it and pour it over that area, cooling it down. Or a, a slightly cool shower, too, will do that. Or just jumping in the ocean or jumping in a swimming pool or like that, a body of water. That will, uh, if it's cool enough, that water, um, that will replace the process of, of uh, leaching, okay, which I don't advise at all, okay. Um, also, whatever you do, don't mutilate uh, your genitals. Don't, don't, don't mutilate that area, okay. That area is already suffering mutilation by the mental filter that's in place. Instead, the thing to do is to change the mental filter. You can do that by imagining the process of, of birthing that's taking place, for instance. Uh, if you're in relationship at this point, the thing to do is to have a talk with your significant other regarding um, uh, your, your mutual expression of your sexual drive. Okay, Have an open, honest, friendly talk about that and see if there are repressed bubbles of energy that are holding holding back um, feelings uh, about the way that that's happening. All right. And uh, if you are yourself have, have feelings like that, that, are, that you feel that you're holding back for probably very good reasons, then, then the thing to do is to imagine, for instance, a great sphere of energy uh, in the area between the, the bottom of your trunk and your feet, a great sphere of healing energy that's reorganizing the emotions in that area right now. Uh, and it could also be that there are inclusions in the physical body of uh, repressed energy, bubbles, little bubbles of repressed energy uh, in some place in a spherical um, uh, area between the navel point and and the bottom of the trunk. Okay, so so in the body itself, these areas tend to be much smaller uh, areas of repressed emotion on the astral plane, um, bound in by some boundary of fear or concern or societal expectation that makes it very difficult to break through and actually talk to one's significant other about them. These, um, these um, um, restrictive barriers might have to do with uh, the inappropriateness of the feeling the notion that one must make oneself always available to one's spouse for sexuality, for instance. Uh, and that's, that's more prevalent, I think, amongst women than amongst men. And it can, on a cultural basis, it can affect broad swaths of the population of Earth. Um, the notion from a man that he must um, perform uh, sexually, with his, with his significant other, a certain number of times a day, or a certain number of times a week, or for a certain duration, um, like that. The notion that he's not a man if he doesn't do that. That's a very powerful fear that's, that's prevalent in many, in many cultures regarding uh, the definition of a man and his existence. So, so look for things of that nature, things very deep and, and, very, um, and very silently flowing through the unconscious thought cloud of the world and creating that uneasiness that we call the VD mental syndrome, or they, we call it the patriarchal domination or the manhood mental filter. Whatever we call it, that's not really what's happening right now. We're all awakening, and we're all changing, and we're all integrating new energy fields, both above and below um, the physical body. 
the trunk of the physical body and the head, higher than that, much, much higher. And, and so we're becoming much more aware of how grand our soul field is. Yes, it's, it's all good news, but it does come about with little disease and discomfort and so forth. I wish you the very best. Till next we meet.